this guy, uh, Super Tendo Boy, and welcome back to Minecraft. I know it's been a while since I've done a Minecraft video because I'm working on my animation for a while, but here I am. I'm back in Minecraft. Um, I'm on a new Realm server that I had someone invite me to, and so I've just been building some stuff on here. It's just creative. I kind of have a little mini game thing that I might show in a later video. Um, but anyway, today, um, I am here to show you, uh, the simplest way I have figured out how to make a combination lock in Minecraft. Now, a lot of them you will see you will use a lot of actual redstone, you know, and everything, but this one just uses just these command blocks and literally nothing else. You don't have to add any scoreboards or anything like that. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and input the code, which is yellow, and then blue, and then red, and then green, and then ta-da, the door opens. So, how does it work? It's pretty simple, and as soon as I show you guys the commands, you'll probably um, figure it out for yourselves. So, if we just uh, go ahead and reset it by just hitting a random one. Oh, no, that was the actual one you're supposed to hit. Okay. So, how, oh, that's the wrong one, too. Nope. Here. Let me just reset this manually, because I already finished it, so it's confused. So, let's see if we just go ahead and replace these all like so. Okay, so how this works is we have this command, which what it does is it... Um, let me just grab a few wool blocks to help me um, demonstrate here and there we go so we have these four different layers here for each different button so this is the row that's actually being activated and so what this one does is this one right here uh, it clones the pink row to go to the top which pretty much just resets the whole system this one which is the actual one that um, continues the process, which is the right one you're supposed to hit, um, clones this yellow row up onto here. And then these other two just reset it by um, replacing this row with the pink row. But if you get it right, the yellow row is brought up here, and there's a quartz block here because um, once it's moved up here, the button that you were pressing will still be activating this block so you don't want a command block there or else it'll mess it all up and so the next com right combination is this block here and then this one clones this row to the top and then on that one this is the correct one and it takes this row and it copies it to the top and all the other command blocks are just going ahead and resetting it by putting the pink row to the top so you can do this with pretty much any you know combination um actually i originally did this for a you know a three by three combination lock and it worked out pretty well i'm probably going to be using this in a lot of my maps maybe someone's already come up with this idea but this has been working out for me it doesn't cause any lag it's super simple but yeah i think that's about it for this video. I expect some more Minecraft videos coming up, and um, I'll see you guys all later. Thank you for watching. Bye.